Hi there, Kinkas, Synth DIY guy here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to my new studio slash set. And this is just a quick video to show you the improvements Erica Synth has made to the black sequencer with the brand new firmware update that comes out today. So let me just quickly explain the patch here. It's actually very simple. I've sequenced a chromatic scale so we can apply any scale to it and we'll hear an immediate change. And I'm basically using the graphic VCO as the only voice in drum mode, so it's its own VCA and decay envelope. And uh, the modulation output from the black sequencer is controlling the morph of the wavetable for the graphic VCO. That's going to a delay from the Pico DSP through ST mix to my black output module from there to the interface. The joystick is connected to the effect CV input. That's a wave folding effect that I have going there. And it's in LFO mode. So my Y axis is amplitude and the X axis is speed or frequency, right? I'll leave it all the way down for now. Now, I'll hit shift scale here to go into the quantize menu. And the first encoder, the first encoder of the 16 in the grid, changes that quantizer in to a quantizer out. You see that right there. So now this is an output quantizer. When I choose a scale, it's going to be applied over what's already recorded which you couldn't do before. You had to choose the scale first and program your sequence. So here we go. Here's major. Here's minor. There's major pentatonic. I'm just gonna flip through them. the whole tone scale, the Thelonious Monk scale. This is the Algerian minor scale. I programmed that in there. Sort of my favorite scale, so had to have it. Now let's say I really like the Algerian one and I want it now to be saved to the pattern itself independently of what the quantizer, the output quantizer is doing. You can do that by just pressing the 16th encoder. See, over here on the screen on the bottom you can see apply 16, that's what that means. Press 16 and you see scale saved, right? So now I can change my output quantizer value scale back to none and we still hear the Algeria minor scale as because we applied it applied it to the pattern and now of course we need to shift save it if we want that to still be there when we turn the unit off and uh, cool now one cool thing about this output quantizer is that sometimes you want to do something really crazy randomly generate things but you do want them to somehow conform to a tonal center that you might be working with. Without the output quantizer, if you use the ARP, the arpeggiator, the different settings of the arpeggiator are not related to your selected scale for the input quantizer. So they would generate notes that go outside of your selected scale. You couldn't really control that too much without doing a whole lot of math and scratching your head a lot. So now you can, and uh, let's go to uh, a new pattern here, number 15. And let's just randomize CV, Ratchet, and ARP. Wow, that's crazy. 
That's crazy. See, that's uh, that sounds chip tuny as hell. It's very cool, but it's definitely not in any known tonal center consistently. In fact, let's turn down that BPM a lot because it has a lot of ratcheting. Cool. So now it's like Frank Zappian. Awesome. And uh, yeah, the timbre, right? It's a little too static. Here's where the second subject matter of today's video comes in, which is the expanded LFO, right? So let's go to setup modulation and change the mod mode to LFO. And before you were quite limited with the range of subdivisions. Once you turned on the sync, they've greatly expanded the options of subdivisions as well as multiplications that you have for any of these LFO shapes. So let's have a listen at the sine shape at a, at, at a rate of 1 16th and that will give us basically one full LFO cycle per pattern length. Okay, play. <laughs> I think this would be especially nice if I choose random. Yeah, this one you put in one, one time and then you get a different value for each step. Pretty badass. Let's make the amp decay a little bit shorter. A little bit less of that delay. Let's randomize the CV again. Okay, so you get the idea. I'm creating something very random and crazy. Now, if I go over here to Shift Scale, all right, and I've already chosen Output Quantizer with the first encoder, I can uh, apply a scale that I like. Minor pentatonic, for example. And now, you see, you've maintained that uh, timing madness. All those crazy ratchets and different divisions of, of beats. But everything's conforming to a minor pentatonic scale now. You can play like a pad behind it and a bass line and go to town. Hope you liked the video. See you soon. Stay noisy. Oh, of course. How could I forget the joystick, right? Let's just play with that for a minute as we fade out.
all in minor pentatonic. Change that to none, and there you go. Cool, too. I actually usually prefer but there is a time and a place for everything. Here's the Algerian again. All right, that's enough. Once again, thanks for watching. This is all for today. See you soon. Stay noisy.